afternoon. I was a bit hungover this morning. We didn't get to sleep till four o'clock anyway, did we? Yeah. So, uh, it is Saturday, right? Jesus, I feel like I've lost a day. Uh, jobs are Royal Mail, collect a parcel, which I think is the regulator for the compressor or the dial, and then go to tool station to pick up a different spray gun, and we'll see if we can spray the unit any better than yesterday's attempt. Having a good sing song there, Abigail. <laughs> so Jem's just gone into the post office to pick this parcel up, and I've been thinking. So if I have to pay two hundred pound per tank to get the sheet steel rolled at a fabricator's, and I want five tanks, it's two twenty actually, and I want five tanks. That's about eleven hundred quid, twelve hundred quid that I'm going to be spending right on on just getting material rolled. I'll have nothing to show for that money apart from a cylindrical piece of steel. So my thoughts are, why don't I take that £1,200 and I buy some slip rollers? Or try, I looked at trying to manufacture them, I think it'll be more expensive than buying some second-hand used ones. So I've had a look on a website this morning, I forget what it's called, he's got four slip rollers in there ranging from 50mm by 1250 in length right up to 100mm uh, thick rollers which I think can roll 3mm steel. So I think that's an option worth exploring because at the end of rolling I can sell the slip rollers and regain some of that money or fail that I can continue to roll sheets of steel and maybe start putting tanks together in the future maybe even selling them or something like that I don't know so it's an avenue I'm going to explore a little bit more this weekend and just see if if it's going to be a goer or not I think what have we got come on let's do an unpackaging now let's see what it is I'm hoping it's a regulator dial It's looking like a regulator dial. Is it? Oh my god. Oh, you little beauty. So now we can see that we're setting the right pressure on the reg on the compressor now. Because I had no clue before. Just like that. You know what he said to me? Old lad. He said, did that, grav did that other spray gun not work then? I said, uh, no, it was a suction feed, I need a gravity feed. He says, oh, I did mention it to you. I said, I know. He says, thing is, I'm not an expert, and I thought you were. <laughs> and then everyone in the shop laughed, and there were about eight people in there. <laughs> Nutter. But he said, bring the other one back if you've not opened it. I said, oh, it's all right. Can we not clean it off? No, I said, I've I'll use it. I will use it. Just, uh, it'll be more for, like, car body spray paint and stuff like that, as opposed to rain emulsion on walls which I shouldn't really be doing with that kit anyway. Oh Abby's excited and singing aren't you chicken? Yes. Because we're treating it to a McFlurry. <laughs> Back at the unit folks. So here you see, we've now selected a gravity feed, a gravity feed spray gun. We have the hopper, which we will call from here on in, Dennis. There we are, so that's Dennis Hopper. And in here, <laughs> we do have the connections. Bit of thread tape. One, two. And we will pop Dennis on here. Right, so I thought it was me. I've just spent ten minutes playing around with this gun. And for some reason, they put two rubber grommets inside the hose tail. Meaning that once I've tightened it down, 
it sealed up the air intake hose or hole. So there I am thinking, well, what's wrong with the gun? Is the paint mix too thick again? It's not working. The amount of time I've just wasted doing that and the fact that I've taken the whole thing to pieces is a piss take. It doesn't need any rubber washers in there at all. Well, I'm not sure how well you can see this, folks, but uh, this is the application. Not going on as thick as I'd like, but any thicker and it's going to start to run. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. I'll just run a bit of hot water through it and that's the gun cleaned it. Dennis lives to fight another day. But oh, no, just straight in the compressor. <laughs> you ready then? Shall we go? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Right, a bit late in the day, but we're going to go up to Emma's house. Uh, she's the girl who started working at the pub for us. She's been two days with no heating. So I'm going to go up there and have a look at a boiler for her and see if we can't get it fixed. Gemma's going to come up with me and hold the torch. Probably not hold the camera though. So we get Abby in the car. We're going to have to nip down to the pub and uh, get some tools out of the unit. We don't have a spanner. Hey Abigail. Take your seatbelt off and come and have a look at this telephone box. Can you just take it? Look what's in here. Come and have a look. It's a little telephone box library. What do you think to this? <laughs> hey, it's got a defibrillator in there, a light, and all these bucky walks. Isn't that cool? Mission accomplished. Come on, Gems. Are you having a look? I'm having a nose. Mission accomplished. Emma has heating. Yay! Result. All I had to do was uh, all I had to do was bleed the oil line and uh, hey, presto, heating it to come on. I'm chuffing myself just a little bit. Evening has arrived. I fancy cooking something different tonight. Not much in the vlog. So here's a bit of Harry's kitchen. Finely cubed potatoes, just coming into a parboil at the minute. We're gonna pop some onion into the frying pan after we've added some cumin seed, some mustard seed, and some fennel. And then we're going to add some cabbage, which I haven't got out yet, some white cabbage. And then to that, we're also going to be adding some chili, some garlic, and chopped ginger. So it's basically Indian fried cabbage that we're doing today with aloo or potato. Just like that, she's complete. So we've got the cabbage and potato basically. We've all mm, those lovely spices. Nice kick off the chili. 
and a nice little garnish with the coriander. You can use cilantro with this, I think. Ah, oh, what I like about this dish, vegan, hey? No meat in it, so it's really cheap. Good way to get rid of half a head of cabbage, really. Right, I don't know what Gemma's having, because I'm eating all this. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Cheers.